So now we are going to start with the physics that is motion. Now we do anything that is count in a motion. Like if we do a thing in which the time passes and the distance passes means uh, we uh, you know go till some distance or uh, in a particular amount of time then it is it is known as motion so there are two kinds of uh, things on which we can calculate the distance that is distance and displacement so the area covered can be calculated on two bases that is distance and displacement so first of all let's take that a person from a goes to b okay but before reaching from a to b it goes in this manner okay so the distance covered by that person is this means uh the a distance covered by the person is the sum of uh, the distance the person had already traveled okay so these all distance are this all distance addition of this all distance uh, all the measures is its distance covered but what will be the dis displacement the shortest distance covered by the person is known as its displacement so what is its shortage uh, shortest distance so the shortest distance is from a directly to b okay so this is its displacement while this whole thing what he has done is his distance covered okay so this is what actually distance difference between distance and displacement is okay uh, let's take a funnier example from our classroom we go to the washroom that is its displacement but from the washroom we roam full school and then reach to our classroom so this is that is distance covered by it. but the displacement is the distance between the washroom and the class so that is in a simpler way that can a student understand that a student can understand okay so then comes uniform and non uniform motion now what do we mean by uniform motion so equal distance covered in equal interval of time is it uniform motion and if the distance is covered in unequal interval of time then it is its non uniform motion means uh, the person is not traveling at the equal interval of time or the person is traveling in equal interval of time but the distance covered is unequal so it is known as its this uh, it uh, that then that the uh, then the object will be in non uniform motion then comes measuring the rate of motion now measuring the rate of motion is simply by knowing the speed and direction okay so speed of the object needs to be calculated by the initial and final velocity and the distance that we can uh, that we already have so average of speed is equal to uh, initial uh, velocity plus final velocity upon 2 then we can calculate the rate of uh, speed uh, rate of uh, measuring the rate of motion then we can measure the rate of motion okay so speed with direction uh, speed with direction we can measure the rate of motion that is average speed is equal to uh, initial velocity plus final velocity upon 2 okay then comes rate of change of velocity now how we can see the rate of change of velocity so average velocity can also be uh, seen rate of see change in the velocity change in the velocity means final minus initial and rate means upon time the uh, rate is inversely proportional to the time okay so this is equal to average speed okay this is how we can calculate the rate of change of velocity okay then comes the graphical representation okay graphical representation of speed uh, distance time graph graphical representation or distance time graph 
Now, first of all, distance time graph of R of two types. That is uniform of uniform speed and uh, of non-uniform speed. So, distance and time. Over here, there is time axis and over here, there is distance axis. Okay, in all the distance time graph, it is like that. So, if there is uniform speed, then in equal interval of time, it will uh, occur at equal, equal distance. Okay, but if it is non-uniform speed, then at equal interval of time, it will have unequal distance. Okay, so these are the graphs of uh, uniform speed and non-uniform speed. Then comes velocity time graph. Now, velocity time graph in that uniform motion. Now, on y-axis, there will be velocity and on x-axis, there will be time. So, if the velocity is constant per time, then the graph will be uh, parallel to the x-axis, okay? Uh, so, the graph will be in such a manner. And the uniform, if there is uniform acceleration, now what do we mean by acceleration? Acceleration means rate of change of velocity. Okay, acceleration means rate of change of velocity. This is acceleration. So, rate of change of velocity, this is time and this is velocity. Okay, so uh, velocity changes according to time. Then only we can find the acceleration, right? Then only it is the uniform acceleration, right? So, this is the graph of uniform acceleration. Then comes non-uniform acceleration. In non-uniform acceleration, there will be not the equal changes of velocity in equal interval of time. Okay, so it can be either in this form or either in this form. So these are some of the graphs we have. Now this is what basic motion means. Now there are many formulas related to motion. And if you want to know the derivation of this formula, then please stay tuned and watch the part 2 of the chapter motion. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down if there are any suggestions, share this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my latest updates. Thank you.